how to recharge your car's air conditioner. So my car is a 2016 Honda Fit and it just started to blow out hot air in the air conditioning. So you wanna look under your hood and this is the number of your refrigerant. It's R134A. R meaning refrigerant, the 134 indicates the number of hydrogen, fluorine, and carbon atoms. Hydrofluorocarbons, HFCs, which is basically a greenhouse gas. So you can get the recharge cans at AutoZone. And I'm gonna go with the gauge so I can visually see the dial. But they do sell some with a digital dial. And I'm going with the AC Pro. See, when you do this, I would leave both doors open to circulate the air. So the recharging hose engaged, this was about $23. And the AC Pro, this was about $35. So you can get this with the UV dye in it, which helps to find leaks. But if you get the one with the UV dye, you need to get a separate UV flashlight, which is about $20, and AutoZone sells them. It'll make the leak really bright, so you can see where, where it's coming out of. So put the button in the recirculation mode and turn your air conditioning on the highest setting. Now my mileage is about 78,000 miles. I think over time there was probably a little leak. It's probably normal. Now this is the compressor. All right, first you want to shake up your can really well. Now this is an actuator stem, so you want to make sure to turn it all the way down. So it's flat so that you can screw it on the can. That little stem is what opens up the can to let the refrigerant out. So this is a quick connect fitting. It goes right on the low pressure line. Unscrew the cap and put it right where it's safe. And you don't screw it on, you push it on. So when you first put it on, you wanna see what the gauge says for the current pressure of your air conditioning. Then you wanna shake the can between 12 o'clock and three o'clock. So right now my gauge, it says it's low on the green. So when you first open it up, the dial will go really high, but then it goes down to what the current refrigerant level is. And you'll feel it escaping the can and the can will get cold. But again, just kind of shake it a little bit and you don't want too much to come out 
but open it up for like maybe 20 seconds, let it escape. And then close it and then read the gauge, shake it. You want to go slow because inside the compressor there are plastic valves on the intake and they can break. There's a part called an orifice tube that's plastic. And the orifice tubes, it's a section of the tubing that regulates the flow of refrigerant from the high pressure side to the low pressure side. So just open it up slowly. And you don't want to go over the green. If you go over, you have too much in there and you're going to have to take it to a mechanic and he's going to have to put a machine on it and pull the refrigerant out. And you don't want to do that. So just take it slow. And then when you're done, just pull it right up, put the cap back on. Now, after I did this, my car, it was went to hot again. So I had to do this a week later. And it was just, you just repeat the same process. But it's very easy, anyone can do this. If you liked the video, give me a like and subscribe. Thank you.